Just five more minutes for the water. I don't know what the hell these workmen are doing. Like, I'm pretty sure that I had all of this stuff set up, but maybe not. Okay. How long can we survive in a day without water in the prison? I have no idea. I really don't. It looks like somebody else is being punched. Tased. Use your taser for fuck's sake. No. Okay. Don't then. That's fine. Oh my god. Look at this. Stop that man. Look, he's gonna get out. Tase him. Yeah, good. Okay, he's been tased. Alright. The, the, the mood and the temperature across the prison is not great right now. But, the good news is... Is that we've got water in the prison once again. So that's good. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. Supermax is gonna need its own power grid as well, isn't it? Okay. So let's get a jail door here. And here and rescue this guy who's carrying a staff key. Oh look, he just got a jail door out of nowhere. This is how he's gonna get out. <laughs> Here you go. Good. You're I'm out. glad I could get home just in time to see your whole prison go like Pam Anderson floating in a pool. No! Up. Come on, we've recovered, it's fine. We only lost like one firefighter. He doesn't even count towards the death toll, does he? Blood Dragon? I'm not sure actually. Uh, Iris Umbros, thank you very much for the 28 months, man. I appreciate it. It's a long-ass time to be subscribed. Uh, Je Holy Jesus Sips, 28 months since the glory days of Euro Truck Simulator when I first sub. Keep it up and always remember Pam Seggy Tits. I'll never forget them. Uh, thank you, man. Also, uh, Theta Sigma 22 thank you very much for the donation. And Blunt Dragon, thanks very much for the donation as well. It's true. We did have a bit of a problem in the prison, but... It's now, it's, it's, we've, we've rectified it, and hopefully, we're in good shape now. Possibly. I don't know. Maybe? Can I lose in this game? Yeah, you can. What was the last search? Uh, last night, I think? We can do another one tonight. I don't think we need to, though. Okay. We have 6,555 bucks left. To get this thing up and running. And up and running, we will get it, okay. But we might need just a little bit more money. Oh, we have two prisoners up to parole. That's gonna be nice. That's gonna be a fair amount of money. They pass their parole hearings tomorrow morning. So that's good. Okay. It is the evening eat time. Everybody is enjoying a spot of talking on the phone, exercising. They've all just finished their meals. It looks like gang warfare has subsided for today. Looks like the gangs don't really control any turf as such either. Their gang leader is about to be removed from the equation. Hopefully we don't have to deal with like a gang riot because they get so pissed off about that happening, but we'll just have to see. Um, okay, so objects wise, oh yeah, we're gonna need a, um, we're gonna need power for this place. It's own power, which is fine actually. We can probably set up something like here. Look, in fact, in fact, we are going to set up something over here, look. It's going to be like this big, okay? It's going to be like this. One, two, three, one, okay. Now check this out, guys. One, two, three, one, two. Oh, shit, it's not going to quite fit. One, two. Okay, so we're going to have to do it like this then. It's going to have to go like this. So it's going to be one, two, three, all the way around. And then one, two, three, one, yes. Okay, that's fine. We're going to shove a little building here. This little building here is gonna be for the power generator for uh, Supermax, okay? So we're just, just gonna be a little building that's gonna have a capacitor in there. Oh, uh, sorry, a uh, uh, thing. What, what do you call these things? Oh yeah, power station. And then a couple of capacitors and it's gonna power that. It's gonna cost some money. It's gonna delay things a little bit, but don't worry about it, okay? It's gonna be fine. Why are people in here doing this right now? They, wow, this fucking music is incredible, isn't it? Like, it's gotta be said. And it's so good. Okay, let's do that. And then we'll have an object here. It's gonna be staff to work. Okay. We're gonna have to run some pipes up here too. It's gonna cost a little bit of money to get this set up, but it's gonna be worth it because the Supermax will be on their own power grid and then we don't need to worry about, like, things going wrong. Also, we're almost maxed out here too. We can't really put much more on this grid, so... Okay, utilities then, we're gonna have to run some large pipes up here, which we can do. Run a large pipe up to here, and then right through here, and then right through the middle as well. Nice. Good. 
Um. Oh yeah, we had solitary set up there. That's right. We're gonna have solitary set up there. So walls up to here, up to here, and here, and then up to here, up to here, and here. And then we're gonna have solitary cells all along here, right? Just in case. Even though I'm pretty sure we won't ever need them. It's probably worth having them. And then we're gonna have a little kitchen in here for these guys to have their fresh meals every day. They actually get a fresh meal every fucking day. Unbelievable, isn't it? Okay, good. Now, we have to put a um, power station in. 5,000 bucks! Fuck me, that's crazy! That's crazy! Kernafal, thank you very much for the um, for the donation. I appreciate it. Um, what can we get an advanced payment on that's like really good? Reform through education, carpentry apprenticeship we could do. Oh, our short-term investment came through. That's what it was. We could do long-term investment, I guess, but it's not really worth it, I don't think. I guess carpentry apprenticeship is the one that we want to do. Oh no, short-term investment hasn't come through. It's gonna come through in 15 hours. Oh yeah, it was the tool cleanup, of course! Of course it was, okay. Carpentry apprenticeship then, fine. We'll do it. We're almost through all of the grants, pretty much. Still don't have that much money, actually. Either. It's kind of nuts. Uh, okay, fine. So now we can afford this thing, the power station, which we're gonna put in here. Uh, let's get, like, I don't know, two capacitors. And let's also get a, um, sprinkler in here, too. We're gonna need a sprinkler. Wait, not there, there. And then we're gonna need to have also a light, which can go there. Okay, good. And then we're gonna have to run power out here. And through here. Like this, all the way up. And in here. And possibly in there, but I'm not sure yet. Okay, good, okay, good. We're down to 4,767 bucks, but we're making 1,652 bucks a day. And we still have room for more prisoners here. Lots more room. And um, actually, with the room that we've got here, we can get uh, 20 grand off the back of it for uh, cell block C, which is another grant that we're working on right now. But no water to the sprinkler? Oh, uh, there will be in a sec. Look. Get it in there right now. Look. There. Okay, the sprinkler now has water. We don't want what happened before to happen again. Fuck me! Look at this fucking prison. Holy shit. Can you fucking believe this? Look at it. It's amazing. Man. It's so good. Okay. Um, Supermax is probably gonna have to have its own, like, little, like, security area as well with its own door control system and CCTV monitor as well. And we'll have that, like, We'll have a path leading down here, and there'll be like maybe a little security like house down here somewhere. Can, 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 it can control this, and if we need to expand this as well, then we can just have it central and it can expand out. I don't even know if this is going to work yet, so maybe we're just spending a lot of money here on something that's not going to work, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Is it a good idea to sprinkle water on a power generator? Well, the only time you're going to want to do it is when the power generator is off and on fire. So yeah, it's probably fine. I don't think it really matters. Like, It's not the most realistic game in the world, but I don't think it needs to be either. It's probably fine. We need to make sure that we have all of the right stuff set up. Oh, the other thing as well is an infirmary. I don't want Supermax guys necessarily going into here, but... At the same time, it's probably okay, as long as they have a guard with them at all times. Oh, look at this guard is pissed off and exhausted. How is this happening? Oh my god, look at this. I guess people are still recovering from, like, the, um... There's probably a lot of, like, outstanding stuff to do off the back of the, um... The explosion, right? People are still catching up and stuff. That's, that's my excuse, anyway, for things, like, running so badly right now. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe that isn't the case at all. I don't know. Wolfie1, thank you very much for the bits. Appreciate it. What's up with the music? What do you mean, what's up with the music? It's amazing. It's really good. It's the best music I've... Li Whoa, who just got tased? Oh, shit. It's almost breakfast time. Oh, man. Look at them go. It's like a real hive of activity in here. Look at this. 
All right, Edna, you're on the potatoes. Bernie, can we get you on the bacon, please? And uh, Horace, if you don't mind cooking up those lettuce gems, please, that would be great. And uh, Bernard, if you could take care of that beige stuff, I don't even know what the fuck it's called. Is it even edible? And Bernard just sort of goes, yeah. And there's, okay, Bernard, well, carry on, please. Just make that fucking beige stuff, and let's get that shit served up to these fucking animals. Because if they don't eat, they're gonna kill us. Nobody wants to die out here today, Bernard. Bacon Bernie. Yeah, poor Bernard. I agree. Poor Bernard. Hey, Vidak, thank you very much for the 28 months, man. It's a long time. Thank you. And Willie, thank you very much for the donation as well. Hello, Sips. Long Dark recently released the first episode of the story mode. I played it yesterday, and it's very good. It has a bit of a coney feel to it. Maybe play it? Yeah, I will. Thank you, Willie. Also, Pissing with Force. Thank you very much for the donation. Hey, beautiful bastard, you should check out Software Inc. again. You did an evening with Sips with it two years ago, but it's gotten a lot better since then, and I think you'd really enjoy it. Also, I love what you've done with the stream. It looks great. Thank you. Uh, Frucanis, thank you very much for the bits. Sips, this is the first hundred bits I've had on Twitch. Enjoy, don't spend it all in one place. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, and uh, the Arakani, thank you very much for the 13 months. Welcome back. That's a long time to resub for. It's over a year. Just in case you didn't know. Crazy. Um, oh, it's minus three degrees. Holy shit. Okay, what's the temperature like in the kitchen? It's still fucking hot. Look at that. It's 38 degrees Celsius in here. Okay, you know what? I don't think we fucking need this thing at all. Let's just dismantle it. I think now that there's six ovens pumping away in here, it's fine. We do not need a radiator in there anymore. Warden Sips is the best Sips. Thank you. Thank you very much, Gormusk. I'm glad that you think that I'm great. Holy shit, hang on a second. Okay, no, I was gonna say, what a fucking holy crap. Okay, okay, so there's no access to all this stuff, but that's fine for now. Um, we are going to uh, do some planning here for a, um, one, two, three, for a security area. We need a just a small little security area here for, some dudes to work in just to just to help run supermax basically um let's make this one more so that it's just, it just needs to be small we just basically we need a door control system a phone tap and a cctv system as well so we're just gonna have like another security suite up here it's just gonna be a small one it's gonna have everything that we need in it we just want to make sure it's gonna cost two thousand bucks unbelievably somebody's getting tased and i'm not sure who it is whoa whoa Somebody, oh my god, this fucking asshole, holy shit, McKee boy, Headland, it's a fearless gang member, it looks like this was gang related all this, McKee boy and Headland I think are part of the same gang, it looks like this gang is starting to become a bit of a problem, maybe they're starting to like, have turf wars and stuff like that that we need to be, you know, kind of scared of, it looks like there's nine members of like the flying ninja stars here, Three members of the um, Dracula gang, and three members of the Screaming Healing Eagles as well. Jesus Christ. Oh, we have a new intake. Oh, I think maybe somebody was released on parole. Or died, possibly. I'm not sure. It's impossible to tell. There's been so much happening recently that I can't really tell what's going on. Randy Slaughter's uh, coverage has gone up to almost 40%. Mark Gregory is sitting at 45%. I don't think we have anyone in here really who needs to be saved or protected or anything. Um, this new guy might. I don't know. Who is he? Let's see. Michael, I am not able, Walshy. <laughs> I'm not able. Nice. Oh, Chief. That radio host was apparently fired after a lot of complaints. There shouldn't be any more problems with radios in the prison. Okay, good. We didn't have a single radio anyway, so it didn't really matter. Okay, perfect. Let's get a staff door here then good open this up we're gonna have to run some power over to it as well but this power of course is gonna be courtesy of the new generator it's over here so we're gonna actually just run this like this that and into here that's good it's it's taking a little while but oh my god I can't believe we actually made it to the end of this playlist hang on a second there's another page there's many more pages in fact Nice. 
There. Okay, good. Um, it's taking time, but we'll get there eventually, and I think it'll be worth it to have. Oh, look at this. He's been released! Paul Denning, at the age of 52, has been released from the jail. Oh, Paul Denning, out you go, bitch. Don't you dare go into the staff areas, Paul. If just because you've been released from jail, it doesn't give you the freedom to just waltz around the entire prison. Just get out of here. Okay, he's gone. That's going to be some great money. We're going to need that, actually. Okay, security. Let's see, security. There, we have another security office in here. Minimum size is fine. We're going to need an office desk, a chair, and a filing cabinet as well to get rid of this flashing thing, which is fine. We're going to have a little... We're going to have a little office area up here for whoever's going to be working here. Okay, so filing cabinet here too, and a chair. Okay, good. And then we're going to want to get at least the door control system installed, like, pretty much straight away. Good. Give them a chair as well. Uh, we're going to need a light in here too. Actually, you know what? We're going to have two lights in here. Have two lights like this. So at 4,000 bucks, we might actually be able to get a cell set up, like, pretty soon. Um, and then just see if it actually works. Be nice. Did. Okay, so we got a jail door. Actually, no. You know what? Remote door. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Do we want to have remote doors? 500 bucks. Yeah, let's try it out. Let's try it out and see if it works. Okay, so for that, we're going to need, of course, um, utilities. We're going to need to have uh, door servos. Okay, on here on here and on here uh, what's the door servo can we put that on a timer there's like a time servo isn't it door timer oh yeah okay this door timer that's going to be in the security office as well so we'll open these things up on a timer right yeah that's a good idea actually we could act okay yeah we're gonna have a door timer in here that's gonna open these things up for their yard time automatically. Fuck, that's gonna be fucking great, actually. Holy shit. That's gonna be so good. I mean, we could think about getting some of that in here as well. That would be useful. Okay, nice. Alright. So that's that in. We need some power to it as well. Pretty low on money right now. We have like three grand. Um, we have one max security prisoner arriving in 19 hours. We are getting a lot of money per day, though. But like 1,652 bucks. It's not bad. I think I think max sec is working about as well as it's gonna work for now. I mean, maybe we can make it a little bit easier or work a little bit better, but I think it's probably fine. This prison has pretty much exclusively been built by chat. That's why it's halfway functional. What the fuck are you talking about? I planned this whole thing myself. Jesus Christ for Raynan. It's so rude. Uh, what is an English bundle of sticks called? I have no idea, Tesla. Does it matter if guards sit on a chair? Because the guards on your door controls stand next to the chair. I don't know. I just put it in there to make it look more realistic. Like, how much does a chair cost? 30 bucks. And I'm fine spending 30 bucks on a chair. You know, if they want to stand up while they work, that's fine too. <laughs> no, I mean... <laughs> okay, let's take this chair away then. I see your point. Okay, that means that we can probably take this one away too, but you know what, we're gonna leave it just for now. Um, oh man, we're spending money on sheet metal, but we should be making some decent money off exports. Look at, we have a lot of license plates just stacked up ready to go here. Can I just like click on them and sell them? Oh, yeah, I can. Does that work? I made 10 bucks from that. There's no way that that worked, right? Did I just lose a bunch of money? Fuck's sake. That's so annoying. Okay, let's connect these up. Let's connect this up to you. Let's let this guy in. And this guy in. Okay. And then let's connect. Oh, look. We've got our first guard coming in to work. Did you? He fucking quit the job halfway through. Unbelievable. We were just going to get this set up and ready to go. Okay. Our first security guard is turned up for work in the new security office for the Supermax wing of the prison. Oh shit, somebody's getting tased. This fucking music is triggering me a little bit actually, like, it's fucking... 
Oh my god, there's whistling now, too. What's the song called? I must know. <laughs> hey, Papa. Hawaiian you. Conquistador 3. Um, hey, thanks, Tesla, for the... Um, well, fuck me, Tesla. 10,000 bits. Where the fuck do you get all these bits from, Tesla? Are you like some sort of Arabian prince or something? Like, what the fuck, man? That's crazy. Where did this door servo go? And how come nobody's coming in here to put this fucking door servo in? Why are you leaving your your post? Excuse me. Okay, we're gonna definitely need the concrete tiles down here because they, they, they are walking way too slow right now. Okay, please follow this path once it's late. We just spent 440 bucks on concrete tiles so that you can move faster. She's pissed off and she's going to get some food. Alright, sure. He's my sugar daddy at this point? I think so, actually. Okay, Felixly, thank you very much for the two months resub. Appreciate it, welcome back. Tesla, fuck's sake, honestly, are you the Prince of Arabia or something? Please let me know. Please don't be shy to let me know about this. I need to know. Man, this Hawaiian conquistador is... That was tight. That was really tight, actually. Steampunk Gaming, 210. Thanks for the bits, man. Have some ad bits, Sipsy Boy. How many escapees... Uh, how many escapes have there been so far? Zero. There's not been a single escape. There have been some deaths. Oh! We got the short-term thing in! 16 grand! Oh, that's great. Okay. That means that we can finally get some of these fucking jobs done. Let's see. Okay, get that up. Get that in as well. Let's get this fucking remote door on the other side as well. Um, okay, let's get this kitchen up and running too. We'll get this mini kitchen going. Staff door. Okay, and let's also get some brick walls and shit here. This is gonna need its own jail door, and then this is gonna be solitary in here, right? So we're gonna need a bed, a toilet, and a light. Good. Okay, so we should be able to make this hallway staff only. And I think the, um, I think the idea is that this, this is, this hallway's gonna be staff only, and it's gonna force these guys out into their own yards. And that might work, actually. Okay, let's try that. We can get in here. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, we might be ready to go. Oh, jeez. Look, he goes on break, and then, like, there's nobody on a backup here. So it takes forever for somebody to get... Jesus Christ, is that guy nude? Edward's father is here and he's nude. He's totally nude. He just visited the jail nude. Oh my god. Okay, these guys are just going to be stuck forever because nobody wants to come up and do this job right now. Do we have to get somebody like deployed in here permanently or something? Oh yeah, no escapes, but I had a firefighter self-immolate himself to death. That did happen actually, yeah. For the record, yes. That firefighter did step into a blazing inferno and he died. It was not the best, but there you go. Okay, we're gonna need another jail door here, too. And a servo. Door servo. The real guy. The best guy. So good to catch a stream. Keep up the good work, you beautiful man. Oh, thank you so much, Valtair. Thank you for the donation, I appreciate it. Uh, I Deadster, thank you very much for the yeah for the sub, new sub, thank you. Uh, Ripe with Decay 83, thank you very much for the sub as well. Welcome aboard and Grand Whiz Bang, thank you very much for the sub as well. Welcome aboard. What are they getting stuck in now? Oh, the solitary door. They installed the solitary door first. Now they can't get out of here. Now we've got this guard, just like fucking. We're gonna need a guard. On permanent deployment here as well. This guy's gonna be the guy. He's gonna guard all this in here on a permanent basis. Good. Uh, utilities wise, we are gonna need to have a small pipe going in across here. That's good. 
and then we're gonna have to hook up like toilets and showers and shit inside these new cells. So this room here is gonna be Hello, a ship yard. Underscore. It's gonna be yard. Loving the green screen. That's new since I last caught a stream. Could you yeah. get a similarly colored t-shirt one day? Sure. I just want to see your glorious bus just floating there talking to me. Sure. Thanks, Dad. Love you. Love, Sam. Oh, thanks, Sam and Sock. Thank you very much. I will do that for you, yes. I will definitely do that for you. Okay. Um, all right. So, we need a bed. We need a bed. Uh, we need to have a phone booth inside here as well. So, we're going to have to tap that phone. Uh, we're gonna need a TV in here for this prisoner as well. TV. Uh, what else are we gonna need? We're gonna need a metal detector leading into here. Um, equally, we're probably gonna need... Um, no, you know what? That should be fine. Just the one metal detector, I think. We could change it after. Okay. Uh, Objects-wise, still then, we're gonna need... Um, what? A chair. We can have a chair next to his bed. He's gonna need a light right in the middle. Uh, he's gonna need a shower and a toilet as well. So let's get his toilet here With the accompanying shower. <laughs> it's gonna have the same setup as everybody else in the goddamn prison. Perfect uh, What else is he gonna need? Uh, he might need a radiator. He's probably gonna need a window he Can have a window there. That's fine. So he can look out the window. He's feeling like you know, that's what he wants to do Gonna have a bookshelf as well, right next to his shower and toilet for his light reading materials. Uh, what else do we need to give this guy? We need to give this guy definitely a weights machine. He's gonna need to do um, some exercise in his cell. He's gonna need a prayer mat as well. We're gonna put his prayer mat right under the light. Uh, we're gonna give him a weapons rack as well. I'm just joking about that. We're not gonna give him that. Um, does he need a sprinkler? So that we can just, every once in a while, just randomly sprinkle him as well. Might like that. Uh, a weights bench, too. He's gonna need his own weights bench. And, uh, what else does he need in here? Mm. A serving table? No, a cooker? A fridge? No, he doesn't need any of that stuff. His own electric chair. He can have a tree. Does he need a tree? An arcade cabinet? What happens if I give him a weapon table? I have no idea. Forced golden showers. Does cold air just go straight through those jail doors? Looks like it would. Probably, yeah. I don't know, like, exactly how it works, but... Okay. We are also going to need, out here, a water boiler. Um... Yeah, okay. We can, we can have a water boiler out here. Hopefully that'll be enough. Enough range. I have to hook it up. I have to get the small water pipe here. We're gonna have to get this, uh, the water pipe, the hot water pipe, to come up here. Go to about. Where does that need to go to? Let's go to here. Uh, this should be no problem, actually. Come back down to here. Connect back here on a loop. That's good. And then small pipes. So we can go up here, like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. Okay. Um, deployment wise, this is super max only. And this is staff only. And that's staff only as well, for fuck's sake. Actually, all out here is supposed to be staff only. It's a shared yard. We don't want any of these guys ever going into it, so we're just gonna make this max sick only for now. Nobody in protective custody yet, so it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, perfect. And so room-wise, this is, of course, a cell. Perfect. Okay, uh, we're gonna need to set up a new... Um, regime for our, our, our men in, in Supermax as well. They're gonna just be on lock lockdown all the time. They're never gonna have any free time or anything like that. Everything they need is in their cell. I think. Pretty much. Have I forgotten anything? No. Security room into staff room. The phone tap CT is going to work anywhere. So the only use I know for the security room is confidential informants, which I don't think you will be getting any in Supermax. Alright, so just turn, turn this into a staff room.